in a snowy mountain at night coming downhill a black machine with someone inside and a girl hopefully it didn't mess up her hair <laughs> hey everyone welcome back to Xenoblade Chronicles 3 in the last episode we came back from Colony 4 and got 5 stars in that colony. And as we made our way to Capricorn, we came across a girl inside of Elevenus. And we have seen these Elevenuses throughout our entire journey. And now we get a bit of context as to why. So, let's waste a little time. Let's go to the city. Yeah, I remember seeing that girl in pre-release trailers, but it was so brief that I completely forgot that she was there. Well, we don't forget now. Mm -hmm. So, let's head straight to it and give her the help she needs because, man, the parallels just keep on going and, man, I have so many questions and so much intrigue. <sighs> her this... and Valdi would really get along. <laughs> oh, yeah, sure. I'm, uh... I'm sure Valdi would take great interest in her, if you know what I mean. <laughs> but that's another thing for another time. Let's just get to what we want to do. Get to the doctors again. And see what's going on. Huh. Alright, Doc. What? Is the damage this time? Doctor! Oh, it's you! How would you go in such a flurry? Here, let me tell you. Behind a wall! <laughs> hmm, well, it seems you simply temporarily lost conscious as a result of a blow to the head. Oh, so does that mean she'll be okay? Yes, it's a passing symptom. With a bit of rest, she should come awake naturally. Yeah, that's a relief. Until she does, I'd like to keep her here for observation. Oh, wait. That's not really necessary. Seems like there might be a reason for your reluctance, hmm? No, it's just, uh, she's, uh... Oh, dear. There's an empty house tucked away in a quiet corner of the city. I'll send words led you to use it. Doctor. The patient will be transferred there. The rest is up to you, hmm? I hope you'll find this agreeable. Ah, uh, yes. Thank you so much. You're a lifesaver. Uh, I'm more than usual, I mean. <laughs> if anything happens, you know where to find me. Well, take care now. Sin is talking a lot and gives me the feeling that she's going to be the inheritor. I hope so, because boy, she needs more attention. <laughs> Give this girl some... Why does our party have such a hard time getting out of the building? Come on, <laughs> ch come on, chop chop. Guys... All right, solo it is. Yep, all right, guys. We'll see you later. Spawn back in whenever you feel like it. Like, seriously? Okay, there you go. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Our party flummoxed by a door. Or two. Well, either way. But yeah, give Senna a hug. Give her a... Just tell her things going to be okay. Ah, you're here. About the girl we transferred here. She's just woken up. Whoa, really? Yeah. Although, I should say, she's a little... Um... And were there any complications? No, nothing like that. Or at least, nothing to complain to you about. You're not making sense, and it's getting me antsy. The doctor said she didn't need any medical attention, and... You know what? Why don't you just talk to her yourselves? Just bear in mind, she's still a patient. So take it easy on her, eh? Seems at least they kept her safe. But now what? Yeah, it ain't like we can just leave her here forever. Let's talk to her first, like he said. We should try to learn more. All right, but she's recently injured. We probably shouldn't all crowd her. You're right. If we're just asking questions, one person should be enough. That sounds like a plan. So who'll go? Surely it's Uni, right? She deals with injured people all the time. 
She should be right at home. Oh, yeah? Cheers for volunteering me. It'll be Sinna. I'll go. You, Senna. Why the sudden impulse? Well, it's probably my fault she's like this. It was really more like an accident, you know? There's no need for you to feel responsible. It's not that exactly. It's more like... If I don't do something, um... I... I'll have a dirty... Con... A con... A con... Science. You've never heard that word out loud, have you? Oh. Well then, we'll leave the girl to you. Is that all right, Senna? Yeah, I'll be fine. Do be careful, though. She might be meek now, but keep in mind she and her mates came after us. We'll be right outside. If anything happens, just shout. I can handle myself, Mimi. But thanks. I will. I'll do my best. I'll handle this. Y you want me to leave? Have you offered? <laughs> Okay then, I'm going in. Ah! Hmm. Uh, um, hi! I, I see you've woken up. Hmm. How are you feeling? Any pain? Can confirm faint sensation of pain in cranial region. However, operational efficiency of number seven remains unaffected. What? Uh, uh okay. That's good. Actually, I'd, um, I'd like to apologize. <laughs> hmm. Before, I didn't realize you were inside that thing, and, hmm, um, are you okay? No major issues detected. I... I see. Uh... Anyway, if it's all right with you, could you tell me something about yourself? The question lacks specificity. Number seven cannot respond. Oh, I'm really sorry. I, I guess that was a bit wishy-washy, huh? Well, for starters then, are you a Kavesi soldier or are you Agnian? Cavus, Agnes. Yeah, that's right. You must know those, right? Affirmative. However, discrepancy was encountered while processing query. Huh? What do you mean? Affiliation of number seven does not match either of two options provided. Doesn't match? Well, then that only leaves... Special Mobile Combat Unit under Direct Mobius Command, alias... Colony Zero. Whoa, you know about Mobius? Affirmative. Then, when you attacked us... Colony Zero soldiers of numbers seven and below were tasked with eradication of Ouroboros. Whoa, that's... not great. So this girl really is our enemy. I have to warn the others. Although... Is that really true? She did attack us, so why is she like this now? Um, what you just told me, it sounded really important. Won't you get in trouble for saying it? I was not ordered to silence on the matter. I... I see. Okay. Oh, shoot, I forgot to introduce myself. My name is Senna. What's yours? I have no name. Huh? Number seven does not possess information under the category name. You don't have a name? Wait, so this number seven thing you've been saying all along? An individual identification number assigned to soldiers of Colony Zero. We do not belong to Kevis or Agnes. We are special assets. Publicly, we do not exist. Consequently, records of personal information stored in growth modules are also expunged at the time of birth. That's crazy. Shall I consider the questioning to be over? 
No, wait. What you just said. You don't think it's strange? Cannot ascertain purpose of question. Requesting additional clarification. I, I mean, for example, that name thing. A colony that calls people by a number, that's so dehumanizing. Don't you feel bad to be called like that? I mean, you're the same as us, after all. Cannot ascertain purpose of question. <sighs> oh. Requesting clarification. <sighs> Senna, hey, you okay? Did you learn anything? Hang on, love, you don't look so good. What happened, Senna? Mimi, I... I... I don't know what to do. Hey, Senna, everything's fine. Let's go somewhere we can talk. Is that all right? Y yeah, sure. This is some story. It's not every day you get to see Senna so spooked. Yeah. God damn. And I get it on the surface, like, yeah, sure, it's a very weird situation, but man. In that character alone. In that brief, like, cutscene. Man, they are drawing a lot from Xenoblades. Well, like, in terms of name looks and verbiage man that's three characters for the price of one grandma i've already got food on the brain yep senna i'm sure you have <laughs> absolutely you have Oh, sure, we can't do it in the canteen, Lord, no. So, where's our next port of call? Can we maybe train? Nope. Sen <laughs> nope, Senate, you're saying anything but this. <laughs> can we, like, talk about anything but this? <laughs> Sorry, love. Let's catch up no on can stuff. do. Colony Zero? Wow. They did seem like more than regular soldiers, but that's wild. If they're palling around with Mobius, we can't really ignore them, I suppose. We still have very little information. I think a more thorough investigation is in order. Okay, but we're talking about a tiny third termer here. <sighs> Senna, what do you think? Huh? Where do I think about what? You're the one that spoke with her. What's your gut telling you? I just... I just asked questions, and she just answered them. But even though she attacked us, she doesn't seem hostile or violent. And when I spoke to her, she was literally just answering questions. It didn't feel like a conversation at all. She looks like us, but is actually a whole different kind of being. That's how I felt. And then I got scared of her, and... Oh, I'm sorry, Senna. Senna? Give us your honest opinion. Do you think she's an enemy? I don't really know yet. That's kind of why I... I'd like to try talking to her again, I think. What do you mean? You just said you were scared of her. I am, it's true, but... I want to make sure I got the right idea, and that's stronger than my fear. Not just about if she's an enemy, but also about who she actually is, how she thinks and feels. Uh, I get it. You need a bit more time for that, sure. Right. I also want to say sorry for leaving without saying anything last time. Okay, then. If you're doing a house visit and apologizing at once, how about a little gift to grease the wheels? Oh, Sana, you could bring her your onigiri. Onigiri? It's a portable Agnian snack made of packed boiled mithrice. They're lovely and salty, especially the way Senna makes them. They really hit the spot after a long training session. Huh? You can make food? Oh, of course I can. 
Onigiri, at least. Oh, wait. But we don't have any Mithrice. They should have decent reserves in Colony Lambda. Hey, nice. No, hang on. How'd you know that off the top of your head? Commander Izzard likes them. The Onigiri. Well, that's just peachy then. Hope he doesn't mind sharing. Thanks, you guys. Okay. This seems like a weird tangent. Mm -hmm. For us to go to Lambda and then, like, hey, can we borrow rice? Would you honestly feel like you can just say, hey, can we, you know, you know, do you have enough? Do you have enough, say, memory for it? I could easily lost. Colony Lambda has its own selection. Cheers, love. <laughs> this could have been Sinner's quest. Yeah, honestly, it could have been. You could have got yeah. you could have got two heroes in one. But still though. The, I think I feel this is a it's a nitpick, but it's a prime example of sometimes the mission structures can be a little bit weird. Mm -hmm. Like why did we need to go to Lambda ex explicitly for this? Oh no. You want some Mifrai? Sure, don't mind. Feel free to grab some if you like. We're close to the water here, so the harvest is always a good quality. Huh? I never knew. If you ever need more, just. Just holler at your boy. <laughs> now we all we all need a place to cook. They taste best when they're fresh, so maybe we could use a canteen in the city. Why? This. This is just busy work. Why couldn't we just have this be like, hey, guess what? I've still got Mifrice. This seems so unnecessary. Like, it's minor and it doesn't take much time, but why? Excuse me. So, you're letting me work on the Mega Canteen. Cool, huh? Toto and the others have just been... Just been those guys are having a dance-off eating competition. Yeah. I'm so thankful for generosity. She's got a real big heart. I hope everyone's getting along. Dude, I don't care. I have no better measure for banks than make Hikiba. I was asking a bit ago. Probably cause her no end of bother. But she looked past that. She's teaching me to cook. Really show me how it's done. Hope you can master it properly and pay Mitchie back for the kindness you show me. I hope everyone's getting along. Yeah, buddy. Can I please talk to you and make the things? With the stuff. No. Make it so. Seriously? He's obsessed with Michi, but... <laughs> it's... Like... I I'm... think it's right in front of him. Oh my god. Because there's... A... Yeah, interact. That is so stupid. <laughs> Man. I haven't made onigiri in a minute. Hope I can still shape them, right? Ah, uh, that's nice. Now, let's take them to our patient. I might be fine with that. Why did we need to go to Lambda and then back? Literally made no difference. Anyway, though, back to the woman at hand here. Dude, drawing from the original two and Xeno Saga. Oh boy. But as we always know, Monolith do like their their ladies of a certain uh, variety. Yeah. <laughs> What kind? Well, you'll find out if you don't know. Senna, wait. 
This time around, we'd like to sit in on the conversation too. Huh? But I thought... No worries. We'll hang back and watch. We're happy to let you do the talking. Uh, okay then, if you say so. Hey, sorry to intrude. Can we have a moment? No objections. You wish to resume questioning. No, that's not why I'm here. It's just that last time, I was kind of rude. So, to apologize, I thought I'd visit again and bring you a little something. <gasps> I figured you might be hungry. They're called onigiri? Yes. I'm not very good at this, so they're about the only thing I can make. Yes. But I can guarantee they're tasty, and actually, Mimi says so too. Uh, Mimi, I, I mean Mio, she's... Yes. Oh, sorry, my bad. Please, feel free to eat. I will eat. How about it then? Cannot ascertain purpose of question. Are they tasty? Did I make them right? With regard to first question, number seven, comforter, tasty to be accurate, assessment. Oh, really? That's good to hear. In regard to second, application of manual pressure resulting in compaction and higher cohesion, also showing excess salt level. Oh. Uh, no, wait, that's the best part. Isn't it nice and chewy? <laughs> Affirmative. Huh? Number seven has not taken sustenance in this form before. Currently considering that others of Colony Zero may also enjoy the experience. Oh, you think so? Particularly number nine seemed to be growing disaffected with the rations being distributed. And number three, whose calorie intake exceeds the baseline, may find these more sating. As a precaution, salt levels may have to be marginally adjusted, pursuant to guidance from number six. Huh. Hmm. Is there a problem? No, no, it's nothing. Oh, but if it's okay with you, could I ask you to tell me more? Acknowledged. Continuing explanation. So, were the onigiri tasty? You already have a sufficient reply to this question. Have you come to like the onigiri I made? Affirmative. Well, that's good then. I'll make them for you again sometime. Yes. Well, she eats like normal, and she can handle small talk. Yeah, there's nothing suspicious about her. Except she talks funny, but whatever. Let's let Santa keep her talking for a bit longer. Hey, you said you didn't have a name. Recollection of making such a statement exists. Well, then, what about Sagiri? Hmm. Uh, perhaps this is some sort of code or cipher. No, I'm just... I was asking what you thought about Sagiri for a name. Cannot follow logic behind query. Requesting more rational explanation. You're using difficult words again. I, I just didn't want to keep only calling you, you. The designation number seven is... Right, I, I just took the se part from seven and, and tacked on the giri from onigiri. Sagiri. Failure to comprehend basis for utilizing this nomenclature. Well, it's cause you said you liked onigiri just then. <sighs> whoa, 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 whoa. Senna, don't you think you're taking it a bit far? Yeah, love. Did you lose your brain at the gym or something? I'm sorry, Senna. I don't think I see what you're after here. Whoa, when did everyone get so mean? I think it's a great name, Sagiri. Y yeah, I think so too, actually. It seems really, um... Uh 
friendly, somehow. <laughs> it's not really like you to come out with something like this, Senna. R really? Well, maybe so. But Mimi, I don't think it's right to call a person by a number. Hmm. Hey, I'm sorry. I let my mouth run away from me. I understand if you felt hurt by it. Regulations contain no special provisions on restricting designation. Huh? Number seven has no authority based on which to reject proposed designations, whatever they may be. Does that mean we can call you Sigiri and you won't mind? Affirmative. Well, there you have it then. Affirmative. <laughs> Nicely done, Senna. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> the girl might still be a total mystery, but really, it wouldn't have been right to call her number seven. Oh, you little ball of mystery. What happened? A coded transmission from Colony Zero. The Mobius Consul F is requesting parlay with Ouroboros. The Mobius is requesting what? Number seven will use own iris as relay to forward the transmission to you. A pleasure to make your acquaintance, my young Ouroboros friends. I am F, and before we go further, I would like to sincerely apologize for the discourtesy of this method of introduction. Ugh, what a shameless slug. He thinks we'll forget he tried to kill us. You say you want to parley. How do you imagine that will go at this point? I'm certain you will feel guarded, and rightly so. And yet with that acknowledged, I would like to offer an opening of negotiations with you. Negotiations? Should you accept my invitation, I will rescind the extermination order on you, Ouroboros. Colony Zero will henceforth no longer concern itself with your comings and goings. Oh, that'd be swell! If we were stupid enough to trust your word. And your demands? The bodily return of number seven. Huh? And that's it? That's all it would take for you to never fight with us again. Yes, you have my guarantee, and that of the whole of Colony Zero. Are you joking? You're Mobius. You'd throw away one or two soldiers without batting an eye. Certainly some consuls do display such callousness, a deplorable state of affairs. But not I. I hold the light of life possessed by Colony Zero to be of the utmost importance. Naturally, that includes number seven. That is precisely why I have reached out to you, nominally my enemies, even with the concomitant difficulties acknowledged. Are you telling the truth? Come on, Senna, don't fall for it. Can you give us a guarantee that you aren't lying to us right now? Of course, is what I'd love to say, but naturally simple words are never enough to engender trust, I know. I have sent the current coordinates of Colony Zero to number seven. We shall remain here. Should you find yourselves receptive to my offer, do please pay us a visit and bring number seven with you. So you think giving us your location will make us trust you? How do we know this isn't a trap? In such a circumstance, you would possess a handy hostage in number seven. I trust I needn't say more. Ugh. Has this guy heard the way he sounds? Of course, that is not what any of us really want. My desire is to see number seven safely return to me. That is all. Number seven? Yes? I am tasking you with guiding them to Colony Zero. Follow their command until you return. Compliance. And number seven? Yes. 
We've all been worried about you. Hmm. That will be all. I will eagerly anticipate the day when we meet in more favorable circumstances. By the Consul's authority, Number 7 is hereby assigned to the Ouroboros' command as an exceptional measure for the duration. Pending your decision on the outcome of the proposed exchange, I await your command to depart. Well, this was... unexpected. Sagiri, what do we do with you? Guess is as good as mine. <laughs> But I think for now. Well, mm. ooh, what do we do with you? I think we call things here. So, next time on Zinnia Bay Chronicles, I think we take Number Seven back to Colony Zero and see what's up. Who knows? Maybe we can get the F out. <laughs> it's a shame that's not going to be my episode title, but hey ho. Well, I can name it that. This one? Nah. No, the next one, because I'm going to have to fight Morbius again. <laughs> oh, it's funny because you're cursed. My wife is not amused. <laughs> she is not amused. I mean, if you want, I can continue. No, the episode's long enough. You sure? <laughs> okay. Well, if you want, we can always do something else next episode if it saves you the trouble. Nah. <laughs> you sure? Okay, well, guys, next time, we take Sagiri back home. Quote, unquote. Until then, thank you all for watching. We'll see you next time. Number seven, eh? You look familiar. See you next time, guys.